What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Now, today we are going to be talking about the uh, data mines that we got uh, for the new version. Of course, you know, every Wednesday there's a ver well, most every Wednesday there's a version update, and then we get some information from it. This week we've got some good info, actually. Um, now, we've got all the. If we'll start here at the top, of course, we've got Anya Kitty, who's. Uh, Dionysus, all these are going to be part of the story event. These are all the actual story stuff, as you see the facial. Uh, uh, basically, these are the, just the PNG faces they drop on the PNG art of the character. Pretty straightforward. I shouldn't have to explain how that works, but it is what it is. Uh, GAC, these are for the gotchas. These are all the gotcha units. And then we get back over here to Leafia for the Christmas event. And, uh, well, she's going to have something going on. That's not a good, that's not a good look. So yeah, we'll see. It should be an interesting story. Uh, also worth noting, Raul is like the polar opposite where he's got, um, yeah, oh boy, don't look like he's doing too great. Uh, yeah, this one's even worse. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of small on the screen, but, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. Is this, uh, this tale might be an emotional roller coaster. Who knows? But that's kind of it. There's not a huge amount here. Uh, what I did think it was kind of neat in here is it looks like there's uh, just some general assets from this. Well, that's all the uh, red light district. Um, yeah. There's Mamma Mia. And where was it? We got a little further down here. Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Here, we'll go out here. So, ah, here we are. So we got basically some uh, thumbnail, or I say thumbnails, wallpapers almost. Um, Anya Kitty, Raul, Soma, Dionysus, just some, you know, some door they, I'm sorry, Anya Kitty is just adorable. That kills me, just kills me. Um, so just some basic stuff here, nothing really groundbreaking. Uh, but if you guys want those wallpapers or whatnot, I think we'll probably drop those uh, in the Discord. So you guys can acquire those if need be. Now, let's talk about the gotchas, okay? We know that these gotchas are incoming. We're really not surprised by that. These, of course, units are going to be time limited. This is going to be the first uh, banner. This is going to be the second banner. This is the banner that's actually getting the heroic trial. So all these units will be available via the heroic trial. So do bear that in mind. Worth noting, the paid banners are going to be one time only. So you can't really, like... I mean, you guess you could, you could wail and get lucky for all of them, but the paid banners are one time only. So, yeah, use your one instance accordingly. Now, coming up next is the anime unit. You might already see her on the screen there. Uh, so, if you don't want spoilers, I, it's not really a spoiler for the episode. So, we'll just get into it. The anime unit is Seer. Uh, we got a silhouette yesterday, but the silhouette didn't really tell us much. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, but we do actually have her details now. So let's go ahead and grab her details real quick. And, of course, I'll, tell, I'll cover this a little bit more in the Before You Summon video tonight. But her details are, uh, she is a, an assist, foes, plural, critical rate, penetration rate, and counter rate down 25%, ally strength 15%. Um, eh. I'm, I'm going to say at this point, pass. I just don't think she's worth personally. Uh, if you do want her, you can uh, do the paid manner three times, and of course, here's the free 11 draw. Nothing groundbreaking. Now, here's what's really interesting. So if you guys remember, uh, yesterday we got a uh, notification of a paid banner. Let me pull it up over here. This was the paid banner that they advertised on the live stream. Now, this paid banner is actually last year's. This isn't the paid banner we're getting. The paid banner we're getting is this one. Notice the differences. You have all the anime units in here. You've got the Amazons for the event that just left, so you didn't pull those units. You might be able to pull them on here. You got Winnie. You've even got Haruhime and Taco Bell down there. Only four-star units added in 2020. So, 
you have a good chance of pulling. Now, these are only non-time limited units, but most of the time limited unit, time limited units we got in 2020 were for the anniversary. So obviously you're not gonna be able to pull those here. But the other units, looks like everybody's here. And I don't even think those units are in the general pool yet, unless the general pool updated. We'll have to check that uh, this evening. Uh, I'll check that before we do the uh, uh, the before you summon video and make a decision on that. But this right here suddenly became worth. Like this really became worth. And um, remember, we are going to be getting some iris sales for the Black Friday event. So save some of that iris, guys. This is like a day and a half's worth of iris. So 260 iris for 10 units with a 4-star guaranteed. It's not an 11-draw, but it's a 10-draw. But it's, what, third the price? Two-thirds the price? Worth, guys. Absolutely worth. That is, and of course, that's paid. That's not free-to-play iris. That's paid iris. Uh, this one's a little small. Let me see if I can blow these up because these start to get a little tiny. Uh, but this is the um, the box we're going to get for the uh, for the new tail that's incoming. So you're going to get fifteen a chance at fifteen of those um, Winter Reverie presents. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Maybe it'll be a double reset. You can get both of those and then reset. Then you got fourteen um, three star tickets. And then a single four-star ticket. Now, the way this usually works, it's hard to, to see how it's written out here, but uh, usually that four-star ticket is on the final, the, the 15th round. So we'll cover all that. If, you, if you're new at the game and you haven't done one of these before, I'll cover all that and how that works in this video. Because this might be a little bit different. Uh, but the Winter Reverie present usually is what happens after the 15th round. So round 16 then just replicates. And I believe that's a million Valis. So this really is going to be worth farming. Super worth farming. Valus is a huge commodity in the game at the moment. So, yeah, don't pass up that opportunity. Uh, here are the exchange items. Nothing really too crazy there. These are what you can be collecting as you play the event. Here's the Rogue Trial I was telling you about before. Of course, this is a four-star bond. It is not a free unit. It is a four-star bond of one of the units from the... Uh, uh, Ryu and Raul banner so if you do pull on that banner and you want a free bond do it here even if you don't it is worth doing this and then you can sell the bond for Dolb one of that rare, that rare occasion where you get some free to play Dolb okay here are the whale boxes let me bring this back out a little bit so we can see the whole thing um there we are so star bonds in this one and two 11 draw tickets so that means these are probably going to be about a thousand, maybe as low as 800, but probably about a thousand uh, paid iris, which is worth. I mean, those star bonds are very, very, very valuable. Um, though I will show you in the Before You Summon video tonight a free to play way to acquire those. Very straightforward, very easy. Um, but yeah, these are the paid banners. There is a mini bundle that is this, where you get a single four star ticket. Should be a lot less expensive. And, uh, well, say a single four-star guaranteed ticket for the banners and a single four-star ticket. Um, so worth noting that. And that banner ticket is a, a love and draw, of course. The regular four-star seems like it's just a single four-star ticket. And then, of course, the smallest bundle, which is just a three-star guaranteed love and draw. Um, these are all the items that are going to drop. And then, of course, the coin for the gotcha. Uh, these are the items for the heroic trial, some general assets... Login bonus screen. Let me see. Is there anything else on here? Ah, worth noting. New outfits. Let me see if we can blow this up a little bit and get... Uh, well, I don't want to blow it up too much. You can, hopefully you can see it on screen here. But brand new outfits for the three adventurers in here. So if you're into outfit collection, there you go. You only get five iris, so it's not really worth chasing. But, you know, it is a thing. Uh, here's the tail in the heroic trial. Here we go. So what I wanted to get to here. Remember, there is a... Oops. Why did you do that? There's a free-to-play Dionysus that you get from this event, so make sure you limit break him. He'll be available uh, in the uh, the uh, the what do they call it? the event unit tickets as well. But why not maximum break him here while he's here? I mean, it's gonna be easy. All you gotta do is play the tail. It's not gonna cost you anything aside from a little bit of Valus to upgrade him. But well, Valus and Fall to upgrade him. Seventh zone is back. We have the typing. I'll go ahead and just get cut right to the chase. It is dragons, water, and I forget what the bats are, whether they're beasts or whatnot. I forget what type they are, but they're going to be light types. So use a dark team, use a thunder team with dragon killer, and you're going to be good to go. That's really about it. We got 
we got casting couch. And that's most of what came in uh, today's data mines. The big takeaways here, obviously 7th Zone and some of these the new stuff, but I really feel like this banner is the biggest takeaway. Like, that is a huge, 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 huge change. And for me, that is well worthwhile, finally. So, if you guys can afford buying the Daily Iris, definitely jump on this banner. It is going to be so incredibly worth. Uh, especially if you missed out on some of the Amazons from the event that's leaving tonight or anything like that. Uh, I slept on that bell during the uh, story, or sorry, sorry, during the anniversary, especially since he's not time limited. That's going to be well worthwhile. I uh, believe that's the Windhar he made there that's currently like, you know, I'm suspecting she's going to be awesome for Racker Buster coming up here shortly. So these. This is really worthwhile. This is probably the biggest surprise and takeaway because when we got that yesterday in the um, in the live stream, it was kind of meh. Also, remember see her here, but I think she's just kind of a pass, honestly. Don't worry about that unit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like, comment, share. I'll be back at you guys here in a couple hours with the Before You Summon video to talk about what you should and shouldn't do with your free-to-play Iris tonight and ways you could probably do some limit breaks without spending a lot of Iris. So... Stay tuned, guys. I'll be back. Catch me with more Don Machi. Uh, soon. <laughs>